Good morning, good morning, everybody. Hope you are wherever you are. My name is Gavin Mkabela. Um, you know, happy, happy Friday to all of you. Wishing you nothing but the best for today. Now, please listen up. If you're about to buy your, your investment property or buy to let property using bank finance, so buy to let properties where now you're buying this property and then you're going to rent it out. So somebody will be paying you uh, rent, okay? So it is critical, critical for you to go and negotiate with the bank on the interest rate so please negotiate the interest rate now i know that it you know we, we can sometimes be uh scared of negotiating uh for the risk of us losing a deal um you know especially if it's your first time but please please note that the interest rate is a cost and that cost uh, plays a factor within your monthly cash flow. So if your your intention is to build this portfolio over time So paying less and maximizing on um, The rental income is crucial So you want then to keep your cost low so that you can then maximize on the rental income that you are getting So, you know, there are two things that you can negotiate um, You know or two costs that you can negotiate within your monthly um, Cash flow one is the interest rate and then the other one is the the rental management fee so you can be able to negotiate that but you cannot negotiate rates and taxes with the municipality for them to make it low no they won't do it and you can then go and renegotiate uh, negotiate uh, levies because levies if now you bought into a complex that are, are a standard fee so you can negotiate that so you know interest rates you have then control to be able to negotiate that you know when you're now getting that bond now that is where i then encourage people to get well to make use of professionals like bond originators or private bankers because uh, you know those people are trained in that aspects and they have a relationship with for example the originators have a relationship with the banks and the private banker i mean you know is part of your bank so he can be able to negotiate um on that on or can be able to negotiate on your behalf now please also don't be difficult when now they ask for supporting documents like um copies of your qualification so if you have a degree you know that can actually help you to reduce your interest rate um if now all of a sudden when they granted the they, uh, when they looked at your score maybe it was low but maybe you did something and then your score is a bit higher or now you have a, a professional designation uh, now you are a ca so you can use these things to be able to influence the interest rate that you get so don't be difficult when they ask for that because it's for your benefit now remember that when you enter the space of buy to let that is a business so you have to treat it like a business and one of the key drivers of business should be to reduce cost and maximize income so you want to get as much rental income as possible but reducing the cost at the end of the day and wherever where you can be able to negotiate please negotiate and even if you you know you are not buying you already bought that buy to let property you can still go back to the bank to renegotiate and that is where that is why i posted that episode on refinancing and i was talking about refinancing on a non-cash payout i was talking about that where you can negotiate the interest rate that you are getting you can uh, renegotiate the term as well because remember the term also has a, a big factor within your cash flow if now you you take 30 years compared to 20 years you know the repayments a, a, every month are not the same so it is very it is very important to be able to understand that now i hope this will be able to help you um with regards to your business to your buy buy to let business so at the end of the day you can you know you can be able to get the right return on investment and you can be able to get the right internal rate of returns you know so all of these things i'm going to touch on in the next couple of weeks where i'll be going deep into property investing uh within my channel um you know gav talks property and finances so on that note please don't don't um don't forget to subscribe so subscribe click on that red uh, that link um and be able to subscribe um and yeah and please don't don't be stingy uh, tell your family your friends everybody that you know to also subscribe so that they can benefit from the content that i'm providing you and i'll be providing you in the future as well so um, may you have a super awesome day and kevin Cabela signing out see you on the flip side